by a show of hands here in the audience, how many of you sell to business customers? Wow. I think nearly every hand in the audience just went up. And you're right. Today, we're going to be talking more about how you can leverage the business customers that are already buying your products and use Amazon business features to go deeper and reach your sales goals. Let's talk about what some goals are as a seller. Sellers want to reach more customers. You may not know this, but the listings that you have that are visible to consumers are also visible to business customers. But the difference there, business customers usually have different buying needs. Business customers may need to buy from a seller that has a certain certification, or business customers want to buy something with a business price. Business customers also like to buy things in larger versions, like bulk product or case packs. So another goal for sellers is increasing your order size. How can sellers be able to reduce their cost to serve by having more product in single shipments and offering bulk selection? Sellers also want to manage fewer returns. You want to have to be able to take more time to work on your business and spend less time managing the returns you have. We're going to talk more about how business customers return nearly half the rate of standard consumers. And sellers, overall, you want to grow sales. Through Amazon Business, we can help you lean in to reach new heights with sales revenue. But what is Amazon Business at a high level? The Amazon Business Opportunity gives you a unique, uh, excuse me, a unique opportunity to achieve those sales goals. Over 6 million business customers are on Amazon. That's a big audience for you as a seller to take advantage of. These business customers buy more than standard consumers. In fact, 74% more units in B2B orders than compared to consumer. And more than two thirds of Amazon business sales comes from sellers. That's right, 67% of Amazon business sales come from sellers just like you. And we encourage you to lean in. My name is Sean Murat sales leader for Amazon Business. I work with strategic accounts and sales reps to be able to manage enterprise sellers that meet the demands of our Amazon Business customers. Hi, and I'm Darcy Sherry, and I'm on the product management team. I work with the sales team and their insights to build tools for sellers like you. Today, we have five strategies to grow your sales. Sean will kick us off by talking about adding certifications, setting and automating business pricing, and I will come back on and talk about delivering during business hours, as well as bulk delivery. And for the fifth strategy, we have a very exciting launch to share with you about using sponsored product ads. If you have questions throughout the session, please submit them using your in-app QR code scanner, and we will do a live Q&A at the end of the session. There we go. Thanks, Darshi. To begin, we're going to talk about adding certifications. Sellers have a unique opportunity to show customers the different ways they can meet the demands that certain procurement agencies have in their market, such as diversity, federal, state, and even quality. And you can boost your sales by adding some of these nationally recognized certifications. In fact, in 2023, Customers with buying policies that prefer sellers with certifications spent more than $300 million with those sellers. And the best news, there's a low barrier of entry for you to get started. These suppliers are able to take advantage from these customers because they're continuing to evolve their procurement strategy. 73% of organizations surveyed have a formal supplier diversity program, including 93% of the Fortune 500. The average annual spend with diverse suppliers has increased 20% since 2019, reaching over $1 trillion. 
and 81% of organizations have increased their diverse supplier base over the last three years. That means that like, the customers are continuing to broaden the suppliers and sellers they buy from to meet the demands they have for diverse procurement. Now there's four main groups of certifications that you can lean into with Amazon Business. The first is federal representation. The federal 889 certification can be found on Seller Central and the best news, you can do this all on your own. You do not need a certifying agency to do this on your behalf. It's a document on Seller Central that you can download, check the box that you meet the requirement, sign it and upload it. Amazon takes care of the rest by verifying it was done correctly. And just like that, you've now opened yourself up to more federal business customers, one of the largest segments within Amazon. You can then take this, take this a step further by getting into national diversity certifications like small business, woman owned business, black owned business, minority, veteran owned, LGBTQ owned, and more. National diversity certifications do require a certifying agency, but Amazon makes it easy for you. We have a tool called Supplier Gateway that allows you to capture these certifications in minutes. We'll talk about how we look at that in a later slide. State diversity is certification that's done at the state level. This is not done through Seller Central and will be done with the local uh, certifying governments at the state. And quality, cert quality certifications, where products carry their own certifications for either aerospace standard or international organization of standardizations. Many of you know that probably as ISO. These certifications are valuable for business customers to see that the products you're offering can meet the demand they have for in-field use or manufacturing use. So how can you get certified online? In minutes with Supplier Gateway. On the left side of my screen here, you can see a picture of where we have Supplier Gateway right on Seller Central under the Certifications tab. Use Supplier Gateway to be able to capture those national certifications and you can also use Seller Central to, to utilize the federal 889 certification I talked about, which was that single document. Once these certifications are added to your business profile, they'll be visible for business customers to see. You see that right here on the right side, where when customers look at your profile online to validate the seller that, you're, that they're buying from, they can see the certifications that you have. But there's more. Business customers can shop from sellers with specific certifications. Let's say I'm online as a business customer and I'm shopping for file folders and I have a procurement demand that I must buy from a woman owned business. When I search for file folders on Amazon business, I can click woman owned business certification and I will only see file folders sold by a woman owned business. Think about that for a minute. You've now utilized your certification to reduce the audience that the customer is seeing for the business that they want to buy from. You went from what could be thousands of sellers that sell full file folders to now a much smaller narrow audience that is woman owned sellers, giving you the advantage to capture that buy box. With certifications, we've launched the analysis and insights dashboard right on Seller Central for you to track your progress. You can see the units that are being sold, percentages of B2B sales over time, and even measure the impact of individual certifications. Let's say you qualify for more than one. You're a small business as well as woman owned. You can track both of the sales from those two certifications to see which one might be performing differently and use this graph to track seasonal procurement trends. You can start to see when some of the different customers are buying more or less. A great tip I could give you right now, the federal government fiscal year is expiring in a few weeks. It ends on October 1st and it ends on September 30th and refreshes October 1st. When that happens, we see a lot of trend in procurement. The same thing happens with the education industry, but it's a different time of year. Think of back to school. When May and June and July starts to happen, their budgets cycle, and that's when we see procurement really tick up. And you can utilize this to see those and also strategize your pricing around those industries. On the topic of pricing, Let's go further to talk more about pricing strategies you can use to attract business customers. The Amazon Business Opportunity gives you that 74% more orders by business customers and individual consumers. 
and that 42% fewer returns by businesses. That's a significant value for you as a seller to give time back and reduce your cost to serve with larger orders. Business customers want to buy at a business price. Think of you in your own business. When you buy something for your company, you likely want a better price than the everyday consumer. That's the same mentality a business customer has on Amazon. And just like how a customer can filter by that certification I mentioned, they can also filter by products that have a business only offer. So if a customer is searching for business priced products and you don't have one, they won't see your items. Some sellers manage their pricing manually, but manual operations are rarely the best. I'll give you an example. Let's say you've just had a huge dinner party. There's a lot of dishes left over. You have two choices. You can wash your dishes by hand, or you can take all those dishes and put them inside of your super-powered steam sanitized dishwasher, and it'll be done in five minutes. I know what I would do, and it's put them in that dishwasher because I want my time back, and I know it's gonna do what I want to do with a great job. That's the exact same mentality we have with tools on Amazon Business to automate your pricing. Mars is a tool where you can build a catalog rule for your pricing to make sure that you're consistently offering a competitive business price anytime you change your consumer price. And this applies to your entire catalog and new ASINs you might add. Maybe you also want to have spe uh, special business pricing on only certain ASINs or making sure that you are reaching the competitive featured offer buy box rule. All that can be set and automated right through Seller Central. If you're using an API or a third-party integrator, you can also do this. And an API solution would be better for sellers that have more than 10,000 ASINs or if you have pricing changes that take place more than once an hour. Larger orders and lower return rates are the most true for our largest customers. Think like the public sector or commercial. And you can manage how you target these specific industries through industry vertical pricing. It's a tool built in Seller Central for you to offer special pricing that's only available to that industry. So back to that seasonal procurement mindset, you can create pricing that is targeted to those industries when they're buying the most. Set that to either expire or continue throughout the year and manage your profitability and show these ASINs at a better price. So for example, this five-star binder that I have on screen here today, Right now, you can see that it has an educator price of $4.85. But if I was Joe's mechanic shop and I'm looking at this product, I won't see the educator price. I'll see whatever standard business or consumer price you have. These are restricted to only be shown to the industry that you've assigned them to. And you can attract more of these customers with quantity discounts. Business pricing strategies gives you the opportunity to set up four quantity tiers and adjust the discount depth. When adding quantity discounts, set them with the customer and product in mind. And don't be afraid to think big. Some of these largest customers are not, uh, it's not out of the ordinary for them to buy 100 units or 500 units. So if you're looking to maybe clear out excess inventory or make a very sharp offer on a large product order, use quantity discounts and increase the number. Amazon goes a step further with quantity discounts and business pricing to offer a blue badge. You notice on these three listings on the right, there's a badge that shows how much the business customer is saving. That's a little bit of free marketing that Amazon Business is driving to the customer, getting their attention with that tag and showing them that this qualifying ASIN has met the requirements to have a special business price that they can buy from. And now I'll hand it over to Darshi. Thanks, Sean. I want that fancy dishwasher too. I hope <laughs> it's on Amazon. So business customers include governments and schools, and a lot of them are closed on the weekend. So say you're a school that ordered 50 office chairs. They got delivered on Saturday, but no one's there to receive it till Monday. It could be raining, these boxes can get soggy, or it could get stolen. And this experience may prevent customers from purchasing from us again or result in concessions or damage claims. So to prevent this experience, we want to help you. 
If you are an FBM seller, you can use Amazon's Buy Shipping Service. Amazon's Buy Shipping Service is a service to purchase shipping labels from top carriers at great rates. It also provides account health protection, 100% valid tracking rate, and automatic shipping confirmation. But best of all, we've enhanced it for B2B orders. If you purchase on Amazon's Buy Shipping, you can actually see the customer's business hours. So for example, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. And we only show you ship methods that will deliver when the customer is open. So this takes the guesswork out for you. You might be wondering, am I shipping to Amazon business customers right now? And is it during these business hours? Well, we've got you covered there too. You can go to Fulfillment Insights Dashboard on Seller Central, and you can look at the number of shipments that went to Amazon business customers and which percentage of those were during business hours. There is also a summary tab that shows you by carrier what your performance was. We encourage you to look at this and then move volume from lower performing carriers to higher performing carriers to improve this customer experience. You can also download an order level defect report that gives you insight at the order level on which ship method and carriers performed better. Amazon business customers, when they receive a product, perform three-way matching. That's simply reconciling their PO number, ASIN and quantity, from what was ordered to what was received. This is very important for them to prevent fraud and ensure prompt payment from these customers. We have a feature for Amazon business customers and they provide PO numbers to us at checkout. And they expect that to be printed on the shipping label. So when the product arrives, they're able to provide this three-way matching. And if you're an FBM seller, you can purchase shipping labels on buy shipping and know that they are going to be B2B compliant. Meaning if you're purchasing from these top carriers, we are already doing the work for you. The PO numbers will be printed. But say you are not using buy shipping or you have your own solution and you're using API or order reports. Well, we've got you covered there too. We have a dedicated integrations team that works with sellers and developers to build solutions. Take ShipStation, for example. Our team worked with them to build this business hour solution. So now if you are a seller using ShipStation, you can see this business hours, plus the PO numbers will also be printed on the labels. We encourage you to talk to us after the session if you're interested in building some of these solutions together. We've talked about how Amazon business customers order high volume items. And majority of you, if you're an FBM seller, might be using parcel shipping templates. And that might work for majority of your orders. But say you're shipping a pallet of paper. You might contract it out to a freight carrier who might show up on a designated day to a customer, but turns out there is no loading dock or lift gate. And now you have to reattempt delivery costing you more time and money. So we have a specific solution for you called freight shipping templates. Freight shipping templates allow you to customize your transit time and cost to reflect the way freight carriers charge you. And if you assign your ASINs to these freight shipping templates, at checkout, customers get a message that someone will contact them to arrange a date and time for delivery. That's super important because now the customer knows someone is coming and can talk to you about if they need one of those services of LiftGate or I have a loading dock. We get a lot of complaints that no one picks up their phone anymore. Um, and that might be true if the phone number is outdated. So at checkout, we also prompt customers to update that phone number. And best of all, we share that phone number directly with you. So you're not going through a phone maze trying to figure out that's contact information. You are able to now directly call the customer, you or your carrier, to arrange the date and time for their delivery for a seamless bulk delivery experience. We've talked about delivering, 
But now let's zoom back out and talk about how customers find your products. Sponsored product ads are a great tool to promote your product listings. They show up throughout your customer's journey on search as well as detail pages. And if you set up those quantity discounts that Sean mentioned earlier, they also show up on the sponsored ads. To get started, you simply select your product listing. You can bid on a keyword like computer mouse, and you choose the bid amount you're comfortable with. And it's a cost per click model, meaning you only pay when a customer clicks on your ad. Right now, these ads are being shown to both B2B and B2C customers. You just may not have visibility to it. But we've seen, on average, two to three times higher return on ad spend for business customers when compared to overall performance. So to target this high value Amazon business customer, we are launching Amazon business bid adjustments. Right now, if you're using this tool, you might bid $1 and that would go towards B2B as well as B2C. But now you can adjust your bid just for B2B customers without impacting your B2C customer. So say for example, you can boost your bid by 200% for Amazon business. $1 would go towards B2C, but $3 would go towards B2B. And you can boost up to 900% for this valuable B2B customer. This will help you generate more impressions, clicks, and sales. And also with this, we are launching Amazon business specific campaign performance. Right now, you might look at your online dashboard for your overall insights, but now you can do that specifically for business customers. There's an online dashboard with real time data, as well as an offline report that has more details at the placement level. You can use these reports to guide your bid adjustment and deepen your investment into this AB customer. So to summarize, we talked about five strategies today. You can start by adding certifications, federal and diverse, to increase visibility of your products. The simplest way to start is by Federal 889, which is something you can do on your own in Seller Central. You can automate business pricing to boost sales, target industry segments, and attract bulk orders. You can start by setting business catalog rules or work on API integrations for sharp pricing. You can deliver during business hours and print PO numbers on labels for repeat purchases from these customers. You can use buy shipping, or be also welcome to discuss with us on API solutions we can build for you. Use freight shipping templates for a seamless bulk delivery experience where you can directly call your customer to arrange a date and time for delivery. And now for the first time, Use bids specifically for Amazon business customers for two to three times higher return on ad spend.